Today's the day we get to move the chicks into their new coop. Today's the day we get to move the chicks into their new coop and so we've done a little prepping with it where we've added some sand to it, we've leveled out the ground better in there, we've kind of cleaned it out for them and now we're going to get them out of their trough and go move them over into the chicken coop and we're also going to add a light because it's supposed to be really cool um, and maybe even a little bit of snow this weekend so we want to make sure we got a light for them so they can stay warm because they're still pretty young and, and still growing their feathers. Mmm, that basil smells so good. Thai basil and the chickens love it.
before I move these guys over into their new coop, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh them real quick and just see where we're at. Cause it's been one week since the last time we weighed them and let's, my goodness, oh my gosh. It's amazing how big they've gotten. So let's just see exactly how much they weigh. All right. Whoop. Let me grab one. Four. 2.4 pounds. So they're three weeks old and 2.4 pounds at three weeks old. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to see how good they're going to do over the next few weeks. These guys definitely need space. As you can see, they need room. So we're going to move them into the new coop and they're just going to be so excited. Nicer than the wine dots. <laughs> They're a lot nicer at this age. Warm too, my goodness, mm -hmm. those are some hot chickens. Last one. All right, time to take over. All right, birdies, time for your new home. They're gonna love this so much more. I just kind of laid it down last time. Uh, making home. They already pooped in it. They're already making it their home. Breaking it in, huh? They're breaking it in. That's the word I was looking for. They're already breaking it in. They've been inside. I haven't had the heat lamp on them inside um, in the garage for a few days now just to kind of get them used to not having that constant heat. Um, but like I said, with it getting cooler and everything out here lately, I wanted to make sure they at least had something they could go under to get a little warmer if they needed to.
I think I'm gonna pick him a little bit of basil. You wanna hold this? Got a little Thai basil for them. It smells so good. Mm. Hey guys. Hey, they're happy. I'm gonna go get them some water and these guys are in their new home. Oh. They smell the basil now. So all the birds are out in their coop. But one. Um, the one I told you guys about last week that he has the, the legs are deformed and just kind of waddling. Um, I had to make a decision for our farm today that that one would not be going out to the other coop. Um, he just is not thriving. Um, he's not growing his feathers like the other ones. Uh, you know, he's he even pooped earlier today and just laid there as he was pooping. And um, I've not had to make that decision or my husband have to make that decision for our farm that there is a difficulty, a big difficulty like that with an animal, and we we have to make the right decision. And so, um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the deformities now in this little chick. Okay, so here is the little bird. Um, you can see where he or she has not really getting its feathers on its back like all the other ones. Um, the legs just don't really bend. He kind of he kind of waddles. They're really big joints. Um, I mean, you can see where his joints just look inflamed. You know, today I was watching him and he, he didn't even get up to move to poop and he just lets it kind of just squirt out the back. And, and um, yeah, you can see where this joint right here on his leg is so huge compared to the other one. And he's just, he's struggling y'all. And I don't know. I, it's time. It's time. Um, we hate to do this, but I hate to see an animal uh, suffer. Is the word I was looking for earlier. I, I don't want anything to suffer. Um, we raise animals and we raise them in a good way, and we know that they're also for our food and our meat. But we don't have to have animals suffer in the process. And so today we're gonna go ahead and say goodbye to this little one. So, as you can see, this little chick is just really having a hard time. And I cannot see an animal suffer because even though we've got this, this animal for food and that is the goal is to raise these chickens for food. There comes a point in every farmer's uh, life, I'm sure, where they have to make a decision to go ahead and put an animal down. And because I, in my heart, cannot watch an animal sit and suffer. And I felt like this one was suffering. And so my sweet husband um, went ahead and did that for me because <laughs> I tend to have a much harder time. But, uh, yeah, so... This was not as cheerful of an update today. Hopefully all the rest go well. We still have 23 and they seem to be doing well. They seem to be doing, and doing well out in their new coop. Um, so I'll, let's just see how the update goes next week. But raising Cornish crosses has definitely been a totally new experience with chickens with me. Um, I'm still not sold that I will do it again and I'm still not sold that I won't. So I, I still may. Um, but today's experience was definitely, and watching this little one the past three weeks is, has been hard, has been difficult. Um, 
but one one difficulty doesn't necessarily make me say no never again so let's just see how the weeks continue to go but um, hopefully this is helping you if you're thinking about getting Cornish crosses to kind of be prepared for some of the things that may happen the deformities that they may have and some of the issues that they may have um, but yeah so if you liked our video today I encourage you to please hit the subscribe button and um, please share our videos and like our videos and um, I look forward to putting out more videos for y'all so have a blessed day